Yes, I sold four properties, which brings me 32,500 gross commission in just one day. I'm not talking about my whole year commission, just one day. And I'm still fairly a new agent in Canada. So if you're wondering how I was able to make it, then this video is for you. Namaskar, Aditya here. Welcome back to my channel. So, as I mentioned, I know four sales or 32,000 gross commission sounds crazy, at least for new agents. And for me as well, like, you know, I'm coming from an Indian background, like where 32,000 commission means close to 18, 19 lakhs Indian rupees, which is like almost one, one and a half year IT job salary. Uh, that's like freaking solid amount. Making that in one day, it's a great achievement. I didn't imagine that I would make this happen. But trust me, it just didn't happen like that. I was planning, I was doing certain things, following actually five principles from the beginning of my career. I believe those principles lead me to this place right now. It's been just like close to 18 months. Because of these principles, I made over half a million gross commission. So this particular day is really something unique for me because you know, four sales happening on the same day is not a coincidence. So I feel like this five principles that I'm gonna share you, if you follow, it will happen to you as well. Like you can even make more than that if you implement even in a better way. So without any ado, I'll get into those five core principles that I have been following that made me this kind of sales in one day and in last one and a half year. So first principle, you need to generate more leads. Yes, matter of fact, any sales business, you need to generate leads because if you don't have people who are looking to buy the product that you're selling, then you're not making sales. So the highest amount of time that you're gonna spend should be on lead generation. You need to spend time, money, and efforts to generate leads every day. So what I have been doing is multiple things. Being very active on some groups like social media, Facebook groups, and also physical, you know, of course now it's locked down, uh, slowly we are getting, but before, you know, all these events happens, right? Like my interested topic is always investing. So I used to attend every month, at least one or two events where I make, make genuine connections and be super active on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where I share on what I learned, I share my personal story, where I'm coming from, I share my day-to-day -day activities, I share my personal life here and there. Of course, not every detail, but what I feel like, you know, uh, that can motivate others or that can help other people, that is valuable or just like fun activities. So that's really, you need to do it. And on top of that, if you're willing to spend like 500 bucks, you have so many lead generation softwares where like they will give you a ton of leads. You know, it doesn't hurt to buy leads in the beginning. You gotta do whatever it takes to generate leads every day for you. Principle two, serve those leads. So now you have generated all this ton of leads from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the marketing or social gatherings. What are you gonna do with this leads, right? So you gotta be super knowledgeable or learn about your market, learn about what your client's looking for. That's what I did, like I'm doing, and, and that's what I train my team. First thing you need to make sure is like, you understand where the market is currently, you need to understand the numbers, you know, how much properties are selling for, and you need to understand what your client's needs are, needs and wants, what are they looking for? So if an investor comes to me and said, hey, I'm looking for a property, investment property. I don't care, any investment property. I won't start looking for properties right away because I wanna know more what exactly you're looking for. You wanna look for a, like a nice solid buy and hold or you wanna go for like a solid cash flow like student rental or a condominium where you don't want to take care of any other extra act activities. 
what exactly you're looking for and how much investment you have, how much you wanna spend on your first property. So I'll try to dig more. If you're looking for a dream home, what type of, you know, how does it look like your dream home? How do you envision, like do you see a nice jacuzzi in your master bedroom or you wanna have a pool in the backyard or a big backyard? what exactly it looks like. So you wanna ask those questions. So that's what I do. Like I wanna dig more down what exactly my client is looking. Now I go for shopping for them. My job is to now, because I'm a market expert here, any client reaching out to you, think the same way. If they reached out to you, now your job is to make sure, understand what their needs are. Now go hunt for that type of properties or if you're selling the property, now do your best how to sell that property. What are the marketing strategies that are working? How do you price the property? Because you need to understand the market to, to do certain activities. So learn those skills, learn those, you know, gain the market knowledge and give the service, give the best service so that they keep coming back or they keep sending more, you know, referrals. Because, you know, just don't forget, in the sales career, one thing you always need to keep uh, in mind is like, real estate is not one sale or one stop game. It's not just for one sale. If you get a lead, your job is to make sure they get what they're looking for. Now, if they get it, they're happy. So if they're happy, so especially now they're gonna tell their friends and family, hey, this agent is super awesome. He helped me so well, like he was so detailed. He was like, he found me what exactly what I like really want. Now you instantly gain the credibility. So whoever they're gonna talk to, whoever they're gonna refer you to, now they're gonna like not even interview you. They just start working with you. So that's a kind of service I'm talking about. Provide exceptional service. Number three, really this principle is really really important and i said this from my day one which is your client interest is your first interest like your your client interest is your first approach what i mean by that let me break it down so in real estate transaction process there will be so many hiccups you know either it could be the negotiation challenges or you it could be you know some kind of issues you found in the house whatever the situation is, you wanna put your client's interest first. So what I mean really is like now, let's say there is some kind of a structural issue that you found. Now, if you put your interest first, you're gonna try to sell the property because the client doesn't know anything. But if you put your client's interest first, now, hey, you know what? I see this freaking huge issue. Now your job like, to educate your buyer or seller as much as possible. Now let them make that call. So you're, but because they're relaying on you, you have to put their interest first, not your, you know, oh, if I make that sale, I'll get the $5,000. No, you will lose them forever if they found out that later in the day, later in the, you know, in future. That's freaking bad. So make sure no matter what the situation is, your client interest first, comes first. And principle number four, so this is also like really important. I learned, thank God I learned in the beginning days, which is take the reviews. So that will help you in multiple ways. First of all, in this business, everyone likes to work with whom they know, like, and trust. So when you get the reviews, you sh have those reviews on your website, on your you know uh, social media, everywhere. Now people see what other people think about you, right? So instantly people like and trust you because other people liked you and trusted you. So that's instant credibility. And on top of that, if someone gives you a, a negative feedback, that's also a great thing because now you gotta learn what you're not doing right. In this business, if you're not open to learn what's not working, then you're gonna, you know, screw up, you screw up your career. So like these things, that really matters. And principle number five, rinse and repeat. Yes, it's pretty simple, but it's not that easy. What I mean by that is like rinse and repeat. 
Now, whatever you're doing, whatever working well, keep doing. Whatever is not working well, make changes, make adjustments. You have to be like open-minded to make those changes. Sometimes when like we as a salespeople, we get so much into the transaction mode and we forget to, you know, when things doesn't work out, we just think that, oh, that's other person's fault. That's why the thing didn't work out the way I expected. No, hold on, just take a moment. Okay, something went wrong. Now, how do I change it? How do I make it better next time? So you gotta do that on all the elements that in your business, like starting from lead generation, serving the clients, making sure your, you know, your, your process is running smooth. So every step of the process, you wanna refine things on a regular basis. That's the way I was able to get to this four sales. Honestly, I was doing these things from the beginning. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I've been keep on slowly improving on things that are working well that are not working well, I'm always like making changes. So that's my story. That's my four sales story. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about these principles and let me know where are you with your sales career. If you need any help, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions and any topics that you feel like, you know, you wanna learn, especially if you're a new agent, uh, let me know in the comments below so that can help me to make more content to provide value for you guys because you guys spending 15-20 minutes on my channel which I really appreciate. So with that, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.